So this is a fun project to do with graphics matte Duralar, and you're going to need to do it um, at a time of day where there's strong directional light. Um, so I'm doing this in the late, late afternoon, and you can see the, um, I just have a old, I'm sure you have cooler toys if you're a parent or teacher of young kids, um, but this, I have this old um, animal figure, it's a dog, a bulldog, and we are going to trace the shadow shape and then maybe take it back inside to add color. Um, so that's why you need directional light so that you can see the shadow shape really well. So really all you need is a clipboard or a cardboard or something to draw on, the toy, the matte Duralar, and a colored pencil. So as you can see, that didn't take very long. So that's why you can go back to the classroom um, or stay outside and add color with colored pencil or another art media. I'm just gonna use colored pencil, but this would be really fun to try a few different um, animals. Kids could do like a little series. Another fun way to extend it would be to trace the same object with um, at a different angle. So I didn't really leave room because I traced mine in the center of the paper, but the kids could see as they turn the figure, um, the shadow shape totally changes. So that could be fun to do multiple of the same toy um, on their paper. So you could have the kids color this anyway, like at all, you could even make it free choice, but I think it is fun to use um, Prismacolor, like nicer colored pencils on the texture, the really smooth texture of the Duralar. So it might be a fun way to talk about shadow, a shadow shape being a cool color and they could decorate the background, the rest of the paper with warm colors. Um, so that's just an option. Again, this could really be any kind of decorating the shadow shape, however the kids want. So maybe I'll use that same color to just kind of close up the pause where I couldn't quite see um, the, like where it was standing. I, I didn't trace around them. So now I have. And then I'm going to just do, I think I want to just do like some sort of line design inside the dog shape. Maybe he's going to be kind of loose stripes. And my, my paper, my, my Duralar is picking up the texture of the paper I have under this. So that's just something to keep in mind. It will pick up whatever texture your table is.
So if you do decide to use this as a warm and cool color lesson, they can add some details for wherever they they want their animal to be, like mine standing in the yard um, with the opposite color family. So I'm, even though the yard might typically be cool colors, maybe, um, if you want to treat it as a color wheel lesson, um, you could have them use warm colors to decorate the environment.